Hello and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Today we look at six people part of a Croydon firearms gang and have been jailed for a combined total of over 77 years. The criminals who conspired to sell ammunition to criminals across London were sentenced at Croydon Crown Court. Police have released the names and faces of those involved which includes four men and two women. The court had previously heard how the crimes began when Manfred Kurz, a German national and keen firearms enthusiast, moved to the UK, having previously served with the German army. Mr Kurz had used his German firearms licence to buy a huge amount of ammunition which he subsequently smuggled into the UK. The legal ammunition later came to the notice of his niece, Cyan Miller, who realised money could be made by selling it to London's criminal fraternity. The 61-year-old of Ashburton Road, Croydon, was jailed for seven and a half years. He had previously pleaded guilty to two counts of possession of ammunition and possession of explosive substances, and two to two counts of possession of firearms and possession of the component parts of a firearm. Stenton 31 of Cromer Road, South Norwood, was jailed for nine years. She had previously pleaded guilty to conspiracy to sell or transfer ammunition and possession with intent to supply Class A drugs. Miss Miller, 25, of Stranger Road, South Norwood, was jailed for 15 years. She was also found guilty of conspiracy to sell or transfer ammunition. 22-year-old Mr Duncan, of Guildford Avenue, Surbiton, was jailed for 15 years. He was found guilty of conspiracy to sell or transfer ammunition. Mr Martin, aged 34, of Kennington Park Road, Kennington, was jailed for 11 years. He was found guilty of conspiracy to sell or transfer ammunition. In sentencing, the judge commended Detective Constable Martin Reeder from Trident and the Area Crime Command for his professional and expert detective work. Officers from Trident executed a firearms warrant at Miss Miller's home address and found 1,800 rounds of ammunition and varying calibres, two firearms which were pistols and five prohibited weapons. Bullet making equipment including empty cartridges, primers and black powder could be used to make live cartridge rounds was also discovered. Miss Miller was arrested and as a result of the inquiries, officers carried out a second raid on Mr Kurz's address. Mr Kurz was arrested the same day and his house was searched. The large quantities of black explosive powder was found and this brought the total recovered to 20 kilograms. Also seized at Mr Kurz's address was a single live 357 caliber cartridge and bullet making equipment. Detectives were aware that some of the ammunition had already been unlawfully distributed and they began urgent inquiries to recover it. Police established a link between Lorenzo Brooks and Lucas Duncan, a cousin of Cyan Miller, who were both arrested for their part in the conspiracy to sell ammunition. Trident detectives then carried out another raid at the home address of Sierra Denton. Seized in the raid was another large quantity of ammunition. In total, more than 3,100 rounds of ammunition two incompetent sprays and an ounce of heroin were found. This arrest in turn led to the arrest of Mr Denton's boyfriend, Mishak Wright Martin. The trial of Miss Miller, Mr Duncan and Mr Wright Martin concluded, but reporting restrictions remained in place while a separate trial for Lorenzo Brooks was held at the same court. Detective Constable Martin Reeder of the Trident and Area Crime Command said, I am pleased that these individuals have received very significant sentences, demonstrating the gravity of these offences. The recovery of this haul of ammunition and black powder represents one of the Met's largest ever seizures of ammunition and explosive substances in recent times. A huge amount of ammunition has been recovered, which we believe was destined to be sold to criminals with gang connections. This amount of firepower in the hands of the criminal fraternity is a truly terrifying thought. Thankfully, the rapid action of the Trident officers has taken this weaponry off the streets before it could be used, and for that, every person who lives in or visits our capital should be thankful. So what are your thoughts about this Croydon-based gun gang and how they went on to distribute guns, ammunition and even Class A drugs to criminals across London? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for joining us and until next time, stay safe.